Hello, Parham Academy, and welcome to today's assembly. Uh, I'm just going to share my screen. Hopefully it works. So uh, you would have realised today from the first video that today's um, assembly is on World Water Day, which is on the 22nd of March. Now, why is water important? Okay, so why do you think water is important? Okay. So if you're teachers in the room or, you know, you may want to pause this and a video and ask the children why water is important. Okay. Or you might want to talk to your partner on why water is important. So water is essential to all life. All living plants and all animals need water to survive. Each day, Try to drink around about five glasses of water to keep your body healthy. So how much water do you drink a day? I know everyone in school is asked to bring in a water bottle. Okay, um, and how much of that do you drink a day? I mean, I try to get through one, uh, two or three of these a day. Okay, um, I know some of the teachers have got quite big water bottles and they try and uh, meet a target on there. Um, and also, we also need water to clean our bodies, teeth, clothes, plates and cups. And also, plants need water to grow. Without plants, humans and other animals would not have anything to eat. So what is World Water Day? So World Water Day is a special day that happens every year on the 22nd of March. It was started by a group of countries that worked together to improve our world. The United, oh, sorry, the United Nations or the UN for short. And this year, this year's theme is valuing water, which is on the 22nd of March, 2021. So in 2010, the UN recognized the right to safe and clean drinking water and sanitation as a human right that is essential the full enjoyment of life and all human rights. No one should be left behind or left without access to safe water. That's really important. In this country, we have access to clean and safe water, but not in every country. In some other countries, they don't have that. So this year's theme is valuing water. This year, because of the global pandemic, World Water Day will take place on social media. It aims to help people understand what water means to people, its true value and how we can protect this vital resource. Again, using the hashtag water to me. So what does water mean to you? Okay, What does water mean to you? I know that we've talked about drinking and cleaning, but what does water mean to you? And how is water important in your home. So why is water important in your home? Think of all the things that are in your house or your flat that use water. And it's important that we think about all the different ways water benefits our lives. By recording and sharing all the different ways water benefits us, we can show we value it and educate others. Hopefully one day, everyone will have access to clean and safe water. So where do we get our water from? So when you want water, how do you get it? How do you get water when you want it? How do you get water when you're in school? There is a little picture there that might give you a clue. We are lucky that in our country, we can get water from a tap whenever we want it. The water we have is fresh and clean. Okay, it's amazing. And if you want some water, you can just go to a tap in your classroom and fill it up, uh, fill up your bottle, you know. Um, you know, the kitchen staff, they have access to water to make your food. However, in some countries, people don't have taps in their houses. They have to walk for many miles to fill up buckets from a river. Then they have to carry the heavy buckets back home again. Fetching water takes such a long time that some children cannot go to school. 
So imagine that if you wanted to have a bath, you'd have to walk miles and miles and miles to a place where there's a well or a river, okay? And then you have to collect the water and then you have to take it all the way back. And then sometimes that water might not even be clean. So clean water. When we turn on our taps, the water that comes out is clean and safe to drink. In some parts of the world, water can have lots of germs in it and it might make people poorly when they drink it. So sometimes when people get water, they might be going to a river or stream and the water might not be clean, but that might be the only water they have access to. So they're going to have to take it. So although the water is dirty, people have no choice but to drink it and use it to cook food. And in the world, 844 million people have to drink dirty water. And 844 million looks like this. So a lot of zeros there. It's a huge, huge number. So the drought. So do you ever get bored when it rains lots and you can't go outside to play? And we have lots of rain in our country and sometimes we get fed up of it. But in some countries, they would love to have our rain. These countries have droughts. Now droughts are when there isn't rain and sometimes for many, many months. When there is no rain, plants can't grow properly and then there isn't enough food for humans and other animals to eat. And then 1.9 billion people live in areas where there are droughts. Okay? So if you can imagine that living in a country where there's hardly any rain. Now, over lockdown, we had a lot of rain. And, you know, you would notice any of the canals that you walk past are really, really, really full. Okay. But imagine if outside the ground looked like that picture there and there was no water, plants weren't grown, maybe there's no grass. Okay. Um, you know, edible playgrounds, if um, sometimes the plants might gr not grow because there is no water. Okay. So floods. So other areas of the world have the opposite problem. A flood is where there is too much water in an area and there is nowhere for it to go. And floods can destroy crops, damage buildings and put people in danger. 1.2 billion people live in areas that are in danger of being flooded and that are and that number is getting bigger every year so how does world water day help so world water day is a day to remember that sadly billions of people around the world do not have access to safe clean drinking water charities such as water aid Pump aid and action aid make a difference around the world. Some of these charities, they build pumps so people don't have to travel so far to get water. This means children can spend more time in school instead of having to help fetch water. So it's more time learning, okay, and more time playing with your friends. So how does water day, World Water Day help? So they give people special tablets to make the water safe to drink. And in times of drought, these charities take food and drink to people who need it. In bad floods, people can be rescued. Money can then be given to help repair the damage done. So what have we learned? Can you remember some of the problems that people face? Some of the water problems that people face. Can you remember that I have spoken about in this uh, assembly. What's your name? How many can you remember? I think there's like four or five. What do you reckon? So the first one is floods. And we talked about how floods. Some countries have uh, too much rain. Okay, and it can damage property, and damage crops. What's the next one? What's the next one? Droughts. That's in the opposite of floods. Remember. That's when there is not enough rain in the country or an area. Ah, getting water. So people have to travel really, really far to get water. They don't have access to taps. Dirty water. Sometimes when they go to the water, it's so dirty, but they still have to use it. I think there's only one more, I think. Oh, no. So there's only four. 
So when is World Water Day? Who can remember when World Water Day is? When is it? When is it? That's right, it's on the 22nd of March. So how can you help? So you could take shorter showers. So instead of having a long shower, you might just have a five minute shower. Ah, you could turn the tap off while you're brushing your teeth and not waste water and only use a tap when you need to. Ah, you could, ah, don't leave the water running when you are washing the dishes. Okay, I do this a lot when I'm washing the dishes. I just let the water come down when I'm washing the dishes. Okay. Ah, wear your clothes again to reduce the amount of washing, uh, reduce the washing machine's water usage. Sorry. So maybe you, every day when you wear your clothes, you just put them in the basket, even though the laundry basket, even though they're not dirty. So you might decide to wear them for another day, okay, and wait for them to get really, really dirty. What other ways can you help? What other ways can you help? So there are some, some suggestions there. What other ways could you help? Can anyone think of any other ways? So some more suggestions for you. Did any of you think of these ones? Yeah, you could reuse bath water to feed the plants. So maybe at the end of your bath, if you do have baths, you might want to use that water and take it out and then feed the plants. Ah, you could reuse your towel for at least a week before wash washing it. You could be a leak detective and listen for sounds of dripping water. So you might be in your house or flat you might want to listen very carefully to see, to hear any leaks and try and get them fixed. And, you know, and completely fill the dishwasher, dishwasher before using it. Because some people, they just put, fill it half full and then they use it. They might want to wait an extra day to make sure it's completely full to not waste any water. Oh, there's some more suggestions I didn't realise. So you can only uh, half filling your drinking cup to avoid wasting water. Get cold water from the fridge instead of running a tap for a long time. Uh, collect rain collect rainwater uh, to water the plants when it's dry. Okay, I have a water butt that collects the rain rainwater from uh, the uh, the drains and I'm trying to think where the word is now. Can't remember it. Can't remember. It. Okay. Ah, uh, from the guttering, that's it, from the guttering. And then you could wash your fruit in a bowl instead of running it under the tap. Okay, so that is the end of uh, my slideshow. Okay, there will be another video that comes after when I finish talking. Okay, um, and again, that's just showing you some other facts about World Water Day um, and making you really, really think about how we use water on a daily basis. Okay. I hope that you've enjoyed the assembly and I hope to see you sometime this week. Okay, bye-bye. Water. It's life's most basic need. But there's a water crisis in our world right now. Seriously, a crisis. Nearly one billion people live without clean drinking water. It's happening all over the world, especially in developing areas of Sub-Saharan Africa, Southeast Asia, and Latin America. It's a water crisis because it starts with water. But water affects everything. Education, health, poverty, and especially women and children. Let's look at a family caught in the water crisis. It's likely they live on less than a dollar a day. When they're thirsty, they can't just turn on the faucet for a nice cold glass of water. They don't have a faucet. Instead, the women and children go off to collect water. Many walk up to three hours a day to the nearest swamp, pond, or river to gather water that's been sitting out in the open, exposed to all kinds of germs. Time spent gathering water is time they can't spend learning to read, write, earn an income or take care of their family. Some women in Sub-Saharan Africa spend more time collecting water than any other activity they do in the day. And the walk isn't just hard, it's dangerous. The women are alone and burdened with 40 pounds of water. Many get hurt, sometimes they're even attacked. When they make it home, 
the little water they've collected isn't clean. Some families know their water is contaminated with germs that cause diarrhea, dehydration, even death. But what choice do they have? Kids, especially babies, are affected most by these germs. About every 19 seconds, a mother loses one of her children to a water-related illness. And each day, almost a billion people are living this way. Until they get a little help. The water crisis is solvable. There are solutions. Some are brand new and innovative, like water filtration systems. Some are age old, like drilled or hand dug wells. These solutions bring clean water much closer to the people who need it. A safe water project near a village restores hours each day to a person's life. This time, it's opportunity. It's freedom to go to school and get an education, to work or start a business, to raise a family. Africa alone could save 40 billion hours each year. That's the entire annual workforce of France. Clean water means less disease. That's less money spent on medicine, which means more money for books and school uniforms. And if the water project is built near a school, it can increase attendance, especially among young girls. The water crisis is vast, but we can solve it. Just $20 can provide one person with access to a clean water project in their village. And this will mean more than clean water. Because water changes everything.